What if I told you that iRobot is becoming a reality sooner than we think? Tober Life, along with many other companies including 1X, Enchanted Tools, Stanford Robotics, and many others recently exhibited at Humanoid Summit at the heart of Silicon Valley. You can find many humanoid robots, robotic hands, robot dogs, and never before seen robots at this event. Come with us as I show you what went down at Humanoid Summit. Humanoid Summit was hosted at the Computer History Museum in Mountain View, California. This museum holds many computer artifacts and how it came to be what it is today. Of course, every local tech parent brings their kids here to educate them on how computers came to be. But it is amazing to see how advanced technology is compared to 20 years ago. As we head upstairs, you can see this is where Humanoid Summit was hosted, on the second floor of the museum. Although it wasn't the largest space, it was filled with unique exhibitors. We were located on the left side of the hall, in front of Enchanted Tools. Throughout the event, attendees were going in and out of the hall in the panels, so you can see an influx of the people throughout the video. From the very start, we saw robots like Enchanted Tools, which are made to appear more friendly than your typical robot for caregiving facilities. There was also a new robot called Matic, which can precisely vacuum your place by scanning its environment in real time. You can see here as my friend explains it with their app. Just point anywhere under the mask. Wow, well, so no go there. Yeah. Yeah, so you can just say, hey, go. Uh huh. And then you just see. It just says, okay, I'll yeah. go over there and then find this path around. <laughs> so cute. After breakfast and networking, everyone was in the hall. We had our robot dogs roll out and show the attendees what it can do. Soon we had our G1 humanoid up. And did you know it can get up on its own from the floor? That's quite impressive, I can't do that myself without my arms. One X's robots made frequent visits to our booth to see the robot dog and humanoid. It was petting our robot dog too, just like a human would. I caught it taking our keychains from our booth, caught them red handed. Chain. Take it. It was funny because the person controlling these robots have a unique character and personality that can be seen through the robot. It proceeds to ask for permission to keep the keychain, which I thought was really funny. You can take it. As the day went on, we met so many great people at this event. Robot enthusiasts, business owners, and people who just want to see what Silicon Valley has been up to recently. We also got our pictures professionally taken. Here's a clip of our boss, David, showing us how he gets up next to the G1. <laughs> and you know what's so interesting? We ran into another G1 at this event. Another company working on software development has a G1 of their own and just got it that day. This is starting to remind me of that Spider-Man meme, of the three Spider-Man pointing at each other. If any of you happen to have another G1, Hit us up and we'll recreate the meme. Also, if you haven't registered for our robot giveaway, register now, you're missing out. The link to register is in the description and we will announce the winner in March. David decided to bring a leash to the event so we can show everyone that our G1 can walk our home dog. Everyone thought it was hilarious, but in my head, I was thinking, wow, maybe we will have robots walking our pets for us in the near future. What a crazy idea. It will definitely put those dog walkers out of business. When foot traffic died down at the exhibitor hall, Ori and I experimented with a programming option for the home dog. As you can see here, we gave it certain commands for it to follow and it executed it perfectly. I sped up the footage so you can see the commands we gave the home dog through the program. This is perfect for people who want to learn the basics of programming, especially kids. It's a lot like Scratch, but better because you have an actual object in front of you. I'm definitely using this for my future kids. Oh look! It's my tech CEO from Instagram. He's well known for his funny skits about the tech field. And if you have the chance to, you should check out his account. My tech CEO wanted to shoot content with our robots, which we gladly accepted. He filmed some funny skits with our home dog and G1, which attracted everyone's attention because they thought it was genuine. 
Regardless, our robots were enjoying themselves. They were liking all the attention they were getting from the skits. As we near the end of the event, we sold out of our home dogs! <coughs> Most attendees coming in already knew about our robots, so they were excited to purchase them. And by the end of the week, it was all gone. We are grateful for this opportunity to be a part of an amazing event. And a special thank you to the Humanoid Summit staff for making this event happen. Happy holidays to everyone and remember to stay warm and dry. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit like and subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Tober out. Interested in purchasing a robot for your own applications? Or just to have one? Visit our website at toberlife.ai to order one today.